Um, Mr. Oket, I just got a call from um, Mayama, Mayama Sam, I think is his name. He is the Japanese bee um, expert in uh, Edges and City who has 15 beehives. And um, basically, in the last um, month, the Japanese government has told farmers to drop, you know, pesticides, lots of, you know, to protect the rice, everything else, issue the order. He's a farmer too, he's got town blows, but he doesn't use pesticides. So the government has ordered the farmers to use pesticides to protect their precious rice, right? These systemic pesticides basically are water soluble and uh, his bees have been hit hard. Understand, Japanese bees are mite resistant, all right? They're highly resistant to uh, the, the varroa mite. Why? Because ultimately um, they grew up with them for the last 100,000 years. Varroa mites are from Asia, okay? and uh, they're not harmed. Here, look at these crows. These crows are eating, look at that, they're eating, they're eating pesticide bombs. Running around there, picking out, this is just tilled. So they're around there picking out the worms, worms that are uh, resistant to pesticides only because uh, pesticides target the neurotoxins, right? So pesticides does two things, one is, um, it, it creates um, uh, estrogen, it makes your body release estrogen and lowers testosterone. So those crows are basically becoming chemically castrated if they don't get killed by it. Depends on how much. The thing is animals can detox, so the death of, of neurotoxins to uh, animals is, is much slower than it used to be with DDT. Um, however, it's happening. In the past, 20 years ago, they would be little birds out competing those crows because they're faster, there'd be too many of them, they'd be out there, they would basically clean shop before the slow, big crows, lumbering crows could come in. The other thing too is, um, you know, these tambles are also full of frogs, these little green frogs. That who eats the green frogs? The crane. The symbol of Japanese, of Japan, the crane is what's also being chemically castrated by these neurotoxins. And just type, you know, frog, pesticides, herbicide, Harvard, and you can, you can listen to um, the talks, um, or you can do silent, uh, silent Spring, Silent Night. Just Google that, Silent Spring, Silent Night. And this is a Harvard professor who has spent significant time and in research into this. So I'm not making this crap up. I mean, the research, the data is all there. You just have to, you know, look at it. So basically right now it is deadly, deadly. If you're a beekeeper in Japan, you know, it's deadly. Um, you know, my bees right, you know, my experiment, the cow, you know, bee sanctuary, um, I just pulled out a frame of, with two queens on it because there's only about 30, 40 bees, you know, less than 100 bees left in that hive. Uh, that started out this summer and they've just been dwindling, 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 probably with pesticides and other things and mites and other things. And I've moved those last two queens, I've split the Japanese colony I have in an area that is pesticide free with very few tambo, um, where Okero Ranch is. And hopefully, 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 they're gonna be so focused on the sunflowers all around that they're not gonna get into pesticide and uh, make it through, you know, uh, to uh, you know this, this season and those two queens I hope I hope you know uh, one of them will become viable and uh, last but again it's a crapshoot I don't know if anyone you know I'm doing something that no one's probably ever done um, you know a lot of people frown on this mixing in you know, mixing species together um, I'm trying to create a more stronger viable more honey producing stock of bees by mixing the two bee species together and hopefully um, I can be successful. Uh, who knows? Um, and I, you can watch the video about that. So, really bad news right now in Japan for beekeepers, um, you know, because of the government ignorance on the situation. It's really sad. Here's more crows feasting. There's no small birds, just crows. The small birds are basically dead, right? There's no small birds. They're, they, you know, they were feeding on this chemicals the last 10 years. Now the crows are feeding and their demise within the next five to 10 years is pretty much certain. My name is Michael Trout. I'm a 
an entrepreneur turned beekeeper turned organic farmer I uh, and uh, I've launched something called um, um, multi night ventures which is a proposed subsidiary of found ups which is a C corporation in America and I'm looking to you know do what I can with the little money I have um, for my community and hopefully bring awareness to the severity of the problem and that people will listen and act before we reach that tipping point of no return.